What's up guys, Persian Punk here, and today I've got something a little different. I've got Batman Arkham Asylum. Um, this game is actually really, really good, and whenever people see me playing it online, they're like, why are you playing Batman? You're a fag. You like guys in tights. Um, first of all, I want to say screw you. You're all gay. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, anyways, this game is actually my number one favorite game that is single player and multiplayer that I own right now because I basically own Black Ops, uh, not Black Ops, uh, Modern Warfare 2 and Batman. I got a couple games there for my little brothers, but this game is just so freaking awesome. I've beaten it twice and I'm going to beat it again just for the video's sake and because Modern Warfare 2 sucks right now. So here's the intro. Um, basically Batman caught the go Joker, Goker, <laughs> and now he's bringing him to Arkham Asylum, and if you don't know, that is like a prison for psychos. And this whole intro is like really, really long. I'm basically just walking next to the Joker while he's on this little car thing, and I run into a couple of the old bad guys like Killer Croc, and uh, I think there's one other person, but I forget who it is. So, yeah, so I'm just going to cut this part, and I'll see you whenever things start to matter again. Okay, we're back. So we're done walking. Joker's about to go to his cell thing. There's Gordon. If you don't know him, he's a police commissioner and he is a good friend of uh, Batman. And uh, Bruce Wayne also knows him. And there's Harley Quinn right there. Um, if I get some of this Batman stuff wrong and you guys know, just put it in the comments. Don't tell me I'm a freaking retard. Um. <coughs> this game is actually comparable to Assassin's Creed the single player because you've got to take out bad guys, but the only thing is you're not killing them, you're knocking them out, and it's really stealthy and I, I like it a lot. There's that guy drinking. He, he'll come, he'll be important later. That guy drinking. Yeesh, the movie Joker and the actual Joker is so different. Like, the guy in this um, Joker game, he's like more of the real type Joker. <laughs> I never realized that. He said the chokes on you. I thought he said joke. Then there's Joker's girlfriend. Well, Joker doesn't really like her, I don't think. But she likes Joker a lot. Apparently, because you can collect bios for um, the criminals and even regular people that you meet. So, I found out that Harley like, Quinn was like testing a Joker or like one of those psychiatrist people and then she fell in love with him or something. Yeah, so here I'm fighting these guys. It's actually pretty easy considering I just got back on from like two months ago. No, not even two months. It was like maybe maybe three or four months ago I uh, played this. I haven't played in a while and I was trying to figure out how to take them down. Like punch them while they're on the ground so that they stay down. I forgot the buttons to hit. And whenever it goes slow motion like that, you know that that's the last guy and that's the last hit. Um, this part was in the demo, uh, at the GameStop that I played, so I just assumed, like, the whole game was basically, you beat up people, then you walk to the next room, and if it was like that, it would be really boring, but it's not, so, I liked it a lot. And this mode is on hard, so, if it's on easy, there'll usually be a light flashing right above the guy's head if he's about to hit you. And, uh, just because it's the first, um, level thing, they show the triangle for counter, uh, I don't think they show from now on. I'm pretty sure they don't. Uh, yeah. My god, that looks so painful. Like, I would probably rip my balls in half if I tried that. Which would not be fun. <sighs> There's Gordon. I'm not sure about how the sound is going to turn out with me talking in the gameplay audio. They talk a lot. And I like watching the little stories. I don't know about you guys. I don't just skip through them. Ooh, you're scary. Um, I think I like this Joker better than the movie Joker, just because, I don't know, he's just cooler. 
Well, the movie Joker, I like to do, but ever since I played this game, I became a Batman f Batman fanboy, and I just watched all the movies like a like a couple times, and then I learned a bit about the history and of Batman and stuff. I didn't get to read any comics though. The old Batmans were so stupid though. Like we have a couple videos. It looks so retarded. Uh, I I couldn't even watch it past ten minutes. But the new ones are awesome. Uh, I heard that they're coming out with a new Batman. I will definitely want to watch that. I want to know how Bruce Wayne will be able to come back after he basically declared himself to be a murderer because he killed. Because uh, he set it up like he killed uh, Harvey Dent in case you don't know Two Face. Um, that kind of confused me the first time I watched it. Like I didn't get what was going on and why he did that, but now I do. I think it was because I was a lot younger. And there's that lag right there. Uh, <clears throat> Security breach. Security breach. Breach. Um, come and help you. They're also coming out with a new Batman uh, game, Batman Arkham City. And I would have gladly get that instead of Black Ops. To be 100% honest. Ever since I heard there was no quick scoping in Black Ops, I kind of went down in like my hypeness for that, if that's what it's called, like by like half. Just because, imagine Modern Warfare 2 without quick scoping. Everyone would be tryhards or noob tubing. There'd be like nothing else to do. Anyways, Arkham City's coming out. I really want that game. It just looks so beast. And apparently, uh, I whatever I played before, there's a secret room that I broke into and it showed maps from the old one. And those teeth right there, if you break them, you get points. And once you get uh, that bar in the top left corner, all the way around, you unlock something. Like, um, you have the choice to unlock some like, armor, ability, or equipment. Um, like, ranking up, like, making the equipment stronger. So, like, instead of one batarang, you could get three. Uh, there's this guy. I think I've met him a couple times. Zaz, that's a cool name, but it's just like, that guy is such a freak. Oh my god, he creeps me out. <sighs> Look at him. All his locks. Oh my god. He cuts himself too. Like, you can see tally marks on his chest. He is just weird. It's weird how, like, the Batman in the movie and this Batman are so different, like... Batman in the movie, I really don't like how he goes into his Batman voice mode. It's kind of, sounds, sounds kind of gay. Uh, right, right, right. You know. I, my throat hurts when I do that, so... I wonder how bad the actor's voice is in that. I, I forget. I don't know who it is. Alright, so here I'm trying to figure out. I remember there was a way to get above him, but I forgot. Was, uh, I thought I had to talk to him. I didn't, though. There's gargoyles. Completely forgot about them. And basically, you can go on top of them, and the bad guys won't see you if you're on top of them. Well, unless you, like, jump down right in front of them and then zoom up to it. And this is bat vision, or no, objective, detective mode. So it's like you can see everything glowing that you can go to. And then uh, also you can see people through walls. I really like it. And now it's time for the glide kick. I, I don't really do this move much because it's pretty loud. Whack! Oh, that looked painful. Take him down. Look at that. Look at all those tally marks on his body. He's a creep. Ugh. That's disgusting. That looks painful. Oh my gosh. Look at you. I like the new uniform, yeah. <laughs> the old one looks so gay. I'll just say that. Uh, cause I just looked up, uh, some pictures. It looks like so retarded. I like the new one. A lot. But too bad she's a psycho. <sighs> well, this is the end of the Batman walkthrough. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, tell me if you want more. Even if you don't, I'm still going to play this because Modern Warfare 2 sucks right now. I'll post videos up anyway. But just, I'd like to know if you'd like it. So, see ya. Be sure to follow me on Twitter. There you'll find no posts and nothing whatsoever because no one's following me.